I promised a language themed video from yesterday in the airport. It was so fun. Like, okay, actually the last time we had a, a plane trip, um, I got to sit next to a woman who was deaf and we got to sign the whole time. That was on the way back from Hawaii. Um, and my name is Alicia Ball. I'm an artist, traveler. I'm doing a lot of social change through cultural art and I love sharing Jesus. So, um, it's a little bit more about what we do here. And, um, but yeah, so with languages, I love languages. Um, I, I don't speak Italian, um, but I, in the airport, I thought they were speaking um, like European Portuguese, and I was like, "Oh, I'm understanding this. This is cool." Um, and it was—I guess it was a mix of Sicilian and uh, Italian. And so I was able to like, have some interesting just conversations. Not not good. Like there was some mis um, miscommunications. And there's a gal who was sitting next to us that she she was able to translate like after and if we needed help a little bit. So there were a couple of things like she's like she clarified. Um, it's like phrase books oftentimes have like incorrect phrases in them so that was one thing she helped me with and then um like a couple basic explanations but then after the conversation she's like she explained some of the miscommunications we had so that was really like she did a really good job of helping um like letting me fumble through it but then also like clarifying after which was so good um yeah, and then last night i understood a lot of the italian when we were doing a bible study which i did not expect so, like the, uh, my coming i was really doing a lot of french and a lot of um and and more in Urdu too, but Urdu was trickier to find, um, like, yeah, so anyways, um, I spoke decent Urdu, and then last trip here, I started dabbling in French afterwards, because we had a couple, we met some people that spoke French, um, so I'm with that, but I think this trip, I think this trip I actually might be doing more Italian, which, um, I, I don't, I think that's just kind of, so far, it seems like God's giving me those, like, those connections, and just that, um, yeah, the tools, I guess, to do that well, um, I, it, yeah, well, so we'll see. Um, but last night I understood quite a lot. I was really surprised. And, and I mean, I want to say quite a lot. It, um, I would not consider myself like good at it or like I, I, a conversation is still really hard. Um, and it's, it's not like, it's still very, very, very beginner basic, like beginner, beginner basic, not anything. Um, but, but it was still so fun because I did not expect to be able to do that. Um, yeah, just really cool. I have a, a note card of phrases that, like, two word phrases. So, like, not even even phrases, but um, actually one word, one and two word phrases mostly. But I that I understood. And so, like, um, writing down the cognates from other languages. And I'm gonna go over those this morning when I turn lights on inside. Um, and yeah, I'll go from there. But it'll be fun. Um, yeah, I think. So I, 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 um, I don't think I could even do a sentence right now. It's pretty cloudy. It's it's kind of dark looking. Um, but like, oh, io maggio, io no maggio, for maggio. That was the one I learned last time. I don't eat cheese. Um, but I do this trip, so <laughs> it's easier, a lot easier, I think it'll be. Um, yeah, it, I'd have a hard time doing an actual sentence because I get, um, I try to, like, when I speak it, I try to just do like a mix of Portuguese and Spanish and try to guess the right cognates from those. And then French, too. There's some French things that, like, can happen, um, can be understood. So it's, it's a jumble. It's not, um, like what comes out of my mouth is not a language. And actually one of the things with having ADHD that I've learned, um, it's been really interesting this trip is to like kind of understand it differently. Like, um, like when I'm tired, I can't even understand English. Like there'd be like our group was talking, like there were conversations, like I can't understand it because there's just so much going on in the airport and like, and I'm thinking about other things. It's like, I, there's times where I'm like, I can't focus at all just to even understand anything. And that helps me understand like why I struggle with languages. Like what one of my major struggles with languages is, is the understanding and then like formulating a sentence back. Um, like it can be really hard. Like I could, if I understand it, I don't, like either I either have to focus on understanding or speaking and I can't do both a lot of times. So that was interesting to be like, oh, this is part of it. There's just, oh, there's ADHD specifically or not, but it's, um, it's just how my brain works. I have a hard time, um, focusing and responding and so that was um just insightful not like um not a problem I think but I think my brain being like um pattern seeking and that type of thing like I also have some advantages with uh languages where um I can really listen well like or if there's if there's only like one person talking at a time so like if there's a room like the bible study um meeting was um someone would speak in English and then someone would speak in Italian and like they'd go back and forth and translate so every um everybody spoke diff spoke different languages and so it was but most people had a grasp on one of those two um, right I said everyone had a grasp on one of those two 
Um, maybe there might have been two people that didn't. I didn't hear him talk at all, so I, I don't know for sure. But um, but in that setting, I could. That was like my brain can do that really well. Like go back and forth, and, like make the connections, and be like, oh, this is this, and um, like not not so much translate, but um, but uh, find the patterns, like the pattern seeking element of my brain. So, anyways, so fun. I hope you guys are well, and I'm gonna upload this, and I will see you guys. I have another one that like is an update of what the trip was like. So these roads, like, it's kind of cool because the people are sometimes allowed on them and sometimes not.